Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Wednesday, March 27th. The Supreme Court finished two days of hearings on a couple of the country's same-sex marriage laws. Today, the focus was on the Defense of Marriage Act, approved by Congress in 1996. Justices gave a few hints on which way they're leaning on either that or California's Proposition 8, which was Tuesday's subject. Justice Anthony Kennedy did suggest the federal legislation could be a violation of the rights of individual states. President Obama also came under criticism from some of the justices who said they were concerned about his policy of not defending cases under the Defense of Marriage Act. Rulings by the High Court are expected in June. For the first time, a woman will head the agency that protects the president and other dignitaries. President Obama named Julia Pearson director of the Secret Service. Pearson has been with the Secret Service 30 years and served as chief of staff to the previous director, Mark Sullivan, who retired last month. The appointment does not require confirmation by the Senate. The eyes of the financial world will be on the tiny island nation of Cyprus tomorrow. The country's banks have been shut down since last week. When they reopen Thursday, observers will be watching for a run on the banks by depositors. The Cypriot government agreed to a bailout from the European Union. It requires bank accounts of more than 100,000 euros at the country's two biggest banks to be frozen. Some account holders will get only a fraction of their money back. The country plans to have extra security personnel on duty when the banks reopen. And North Korea says war with South Korea could break out at any moment. As a result, the country cut its last hotline channel to South Korea and the demilitarized zone between the two countries. This comes a day after the North said it put its military forces and missile bases on combat high alert because of what it said was a pending attack by the South and the United States. That's your political news roundup for Wednesday, March 27th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news all day long. Thank you.